So if you're getting a rattling sound, um, it could be your timing chain tensioner. So we want to get that out. I'm going to show you how I'm doing it because uh, the manual doesn't really give you the details how to get at it. And um, anyway, so this, one, this is a new one. And uh, step one is you want to remove these two nuts so you, you can get this uh, sound cover off. And you also want to get a 10 millimeter wrench and get your negative post off. And always wrap it in a rag, that way it doesn't touch anything by accident. There you go. And um, go from there. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wheel off to get access to the parts I'm using for 2008 RAV4 with the 2G engine. Snap apart, 95527. And I did get a new uh, gasket. This part right here from Toyota 13552-08010. The wheel is off. You're gonna to want to take this splash guard off right here. Use a screwdriver. Use a trim removal tool. You gotta to pop these little buttons out. Fingers are still um, factory. They look like this. These actually, you don't need a tool. You just push them in like that, and then they uh, they come loose. I had a uh, one non-factory one that I had to uh, pull out. Um, out this way. Turn the crank. So you want to get a 19 millimeter socket on your crank bolt there. And you should be able to, you know, two, with two hands, you should be able to, you should be able to turn the engine. You always want to turn clockwise. Next thing I did was I, I lowered the jack so this is really low because this will make getting in the here. A lot easier since uh, it's it's back here. So next, what we gotta do is we gotta find if we're gonna be able to sh move or pull over. This wiring harness is in the way. So I'm gonna start disconnecting stuff, and but leave everything connected. Yeah, I'm gonna undo this. One's in the back. Um, right here, probably take that nut out. I'm just I'm gonna loosen this up and see if it gets out of the way or not. If not, I'm gonna to have to unbolt it and swing it over. This is a good picture of where we're going. So here's your timing cover, which is this side of the engine. And then um, there's the tensioner right there. And uh, so it's, uh, it's right, it's right, it's right here. I'm going ahead and relieve this here and this here and then there's I think two here these should just pull out like that okay okay now it's loose so now we're gonna move it around and see if I got uh, enough room to get those bolts out or not some people remove this wiring harness but I don't know if that's necessary um, there, it there it is right there one two these two bolts but yeah, look, I can tuck this down. I don't think I need to remove this wiring harness. I think that's fake news on the internet. Let's do it a better way. Let's just loosen these wires. You see, these just pull right off these clips. It's no big deal. So you don't have to unbolt these two clips down here, okay? Step one is um, remove, remove the bolts. Simple enough, right here. Probably a 10 millimeter. It's saying that it's under tension, so you may need to push on the body in order to release tension on the nuts to, to unscrew them by hand. But we're going to break them loose with the right. Really not a big deal. Relatively loose. You're just, you know, this is a gasketed item that's in aluminum, so it's not in there super tight. Got a little quarter inch wrench down here. And, um, yeah, it's, 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 it'll be, it should be easy to get out. This thing's under a little bit of spring tension. So it literally, once you take the two uh, two nuts off, there's no, the washers are built in. Um, this thing will just uh, push right out. And you'll notice the clippy thing is on the top. That's important to note. Next, um, spray some brake cleaner on a, on a clean towel somewhere. And you're gonna wanna go down there and you're gonna clean that surface area. Um, just by feel, uh, the best you can. 
All right, so this is a little tricky, but first, next we have to preset this thing compressed uh, for, for to install it. So we have to get this hook around that post. It's a little, it's a little tricky. I put a little uh, engine assembly loops. I had some laying around. Um, I put it, you know, on this part here, um, or put some oil on it if you want. Um, well, anyways, what you gotta do is you have to hit, put, push this down here. It's a little tricky. That way you can get it like this, but you gotta get it a little, a little bit more there. So it's properly done just like this, you'll see one notch visible and this pin will be, this hook will be tight. It won't be loose. Now, uh, other than putting the gasket on, this is ready to install. Although the factory obviously didn't have any sealant. It's a, it's a metal gasket, it's very weird. This is a super common oil leak spot on the RAV4s. So I did put a little bit of sealant. I, I like, this is the non-hardening um, Hylamar. Um, so I really like uh, this stuff here and I'll just follow the uh, directions and um, we're going to match it up just like we got it out and um, this little tabby thing you gotta follow this tab make sure it matches here and you're going to put that on there and that's that's going to be good to go and next we can work on um, installing this um, into the car we're installing Put this thing kind of facing up and um, get those nuts back on it. Um, if you hear this thing unclick while you're installing it, you're gonna need to remove it, reattach this, and then start over again. So you got, and you'll hear it, it'll uh, click, and then you'll hear it go whoop. And um, you wanna make sure that doesn't happen. So you wanna turn off your radios, turn off your fans, be very quiet when you're installing this thing. This isn't super easy. Now you're just gonna work on getting these two nuts on. Again, which is super easy. And you're gonna wanna slowly tighten them evenly because you're screwing into aluminum with a gasket. And these are those two brackets that you pulled the wiring harness off. So here's the clippies right here. Access really isn't that bad. Okay, so we're in and I didn't hear any clips, any uh, clicking okay. sounds. Two, hook, raise, hook, done. Portion A, sticking to the right, sticking up, the gasket. That looks good. Now we're pushing in and we're reinstalling. And um, once we get it tightened down, then we're going to uh, try and release that hook. I'm going to get your inch pound torque wrench out and tighten it evenly. There you go, click. And then we gotta do, do the other one. It's not very much, it's 80 inch pounds. There it is. I always wait a couple seconds. And I'll, uh, and do it again there it goes all right so that is done and tight you are going to be turning the engine so i went ahead and put the wiring harness back in place so again two two plastic clips here on the brackets and then that bolt and that bolt and then you're resecured counterproductive to turning the engine clockwise here you turn the crankshaft counterclockwise to disconnect the plunger knock pin from the hook so again, wait till the lawnmowers are gone, wait till the fans are gone, you should be able to hear that click. And you wanna see hear that plunger shoot out of that thing. Um, so turn that um, wrench slowly and counterclockwise and listen for- Fingers the, crossed on this maneuver. Okay, counterclockwise, quiet. Oh, I heard it. Do you hear that click? That's in. I wouldn't turn it counterclockwise anymore. If you heard the click, I would stop. You can turn it clockwise, though. There you go. Oh, yeah. There she goes. Yeah. That click. 
that click was that disengaging and then this is pushed out and it's pushing against the, the timing chain temperature inside and uh that's it you're done just start putting right. it back together cover back on negative lead back on one two three four back on all we gotta do is put the wheel on and and drive off